today. Uh, if you're new here, this is a video on a video series I'm working on uh, fixing up an old international dump truck. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we're back again today on the U-Haul cab, and today's goal is we're going to try and get this thing primed. We got two consecutive days where it's not supposed to rain, so hopefully. We can get this thing primed, and the primer says wait 24 hours, so we can get it primed and then come back and paint it tomorrow. So that's the goal. So I'm going to start pulling. I'm going to pull the mirror, the handles off, pull all this off, scuff everything up, and then see if we can't shoot some primer. Okay, so we got all the mirrors and all the all the little things here and there off. So most of this stuff I don't want to paint. I'll just mask it off. Got the windshield wipers off. So this baby's ready to be scuffed down and then get ready for paint. I got to pull them marker lights out. So I'll do that and we'll start scuffing. All right, so after a couple hours later... Everything is scuffed up and masked off. So we should be ready to shoot some primer on here. I hope anyways. And for scuffing that up, I just use my big grinder with the uh, wire wheel on there. So I think you're supposed to sand these or something with certain grits to get everything just right. But I just knocked everything off and went over everything a couple times. And we're going to paint it. So... Yeah, I guess let's go get set up, and I need to wipe this thing down real good, get it good and clean, and then shoot some primer on it. So I know absolutely nothing about painting, but probably four or five years ago, I was at Tractor Spawn, I picked up a big kit that had all these paint guns in it, because I had intentions of painting one of my old pickup trucks, but anyways, they blew up, so that never happened. But, so I got this one and this one. I don't know which one's, like, better or which one to use. I know I put a regulator on this one, so maybe this is the one I should use. I'm going to try this one, see if it works. If not, we'll use this one. So, we use this one. It should be ready to go, I guess. And then, then I got this air dryer, or oil remover that dries the air or whatever. They told me I needed one of these, so I got it. I don't... Got to put fittings on it. Okay, so that's... Looks like it's supposed to flow this way. I wonder if I need to add these pellets. I should have probably watched an instructional video on this. Pellets, I guess they do something. Let's see if it says anything here. Let's see if I at least got the right fitting. Nope. Come on now. Probably don't have any air fittings that size. Now I don't really know what to do. Well, the good news is I went and got some adapters so I could reduce that down, and we got quick connect fittings on here. So now we can use this guy. 
Okay, got the roof primed. Let's get to working on the siding. The primer is on, so I think it actually turned out halfway decent, considering. I do believe now in the back here I had a few, uh, I guess, spots that I had light. I don't know if you can see here, but there, there's a few waves in there and there, but by the time the paint goes on and everything, you, you won't be able to tell. So I think the first layer I did, it wasn't covering very good, so I reduced it a little bit more on the next one, and then it sprayed better, so I guess that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know. I'm not a painter, but it's all primed, so now it's going to sit for 24 hours, and we can come back and paint, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, in about one second for you. And we're back 24 hours later, so... This stuff seems to be pretty dry, so I'm going to pull it up and get it wiped down real clean and see if we can shoot some paint on it. If you're wondering what color we're going with, we're going with Massey Ferguson Gray. So, we're going to try tractor paint. Hopefully it works. If not, then we'll figure something else out. that's been sitting on the shelf for a while so I forgot to buy a paint stir stick so I just welded this bolt together and put it in the reel so this should work pretty good Okay, 
this should be pretty decent. Now for mixing, since this stuff gets mixed eight to one, I think it'll hold five uh, in the paint gun. So that's what we'll fill that up to. And for hardener, I don't think it's supposed to get a very much of this at all. So I'm going to do four capfuls. here filters Well, here it is all finished up. So it, it's what they call a 50 foot paint job. So it, it looks good from 50 foot anyways. But I'm sure y'all are wondering why I didn't wear a mask. And well, since they shut the country down over the flu, I can't just go in a store and buy a mask. So go figure there. But yeah, so I'll show you guys the, uh, the cab here. So here it is all painted up. I think I think it turned out pretty good for my first time painting. I I do believe so. Here's the cab. Here's the hood over here. And I didn't see any runs anywhere in this either. So I think I did pretty good there. The only thing I messed up on is, is you'll see there's a bunch of drips right in here. And that's from the lid on the paint gun. I wasn't paying attention. I put it on sideways. And whenever I tilted the gun over it, had a bunch of drips come out. So go figure. But I'll take a razor blade and get them off once they dry. So, yeah. Here is the, the finished product. So in the, the next video, we will be this cab back together. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that one. Okay, guys. That pretty much wraps up uh, this week's video here. So I figure I'll throw in a few clips of the end of me unmasking everything. And I do believe for for just a backyard paint job, I believe it turned out pretty decent. So let me know down there in the comments what you guys think about it. And this is my first time painting. Maybe you can uh, give me some pointers down there. And I'm going to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to try and consistently upload every Sunday. But don't hold me to that. But that's... That's what we're trying to do here. Luckily, this week had some extra time off, so we got out two videos this week and working on this dump truck. So, anyways, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day.